Greetings, viewers, and welcome to today's info sharing session. We'll be covering the customization of report and document layouts within a Sage to an Evolution database. Within an Evolution database, we have a range of reports and documents which can be customized to suit your own particular requirements. In today's presentation, we're going to be customizing an invoice layout. I'm firstly going to start by going through to common maintenance company details. And here we have details about the company, physical address, the postal address, contact number, together with the email and website address. And we're going to be adding the email and website address onto the invoice layout. Let's get started. I'm going to move to transactions inventory, invoice, and I've opened up my invoicing screen, print, print options, print options invoice. I've got a layout options tab on the left hand side of the screen and I'm going to go to layout options and what you'll notice here is we have a range of invoice templates that can be customized within the Evolution database. In order for me to customize a layout, I need to make a copy of the existing layout. So I'm going to use the Invoice A4 template, highlight it and say, Copy Layout. I would now need to give a name to the new layout. Okay, and I'm currently now on the canvas where I'm going to make the changes to my invoice layout. The first option we're going to be adding is a label. Now a label is a text field that you can add onto the label, onto the layout, and insert certain information. And if you look in the top, we have a whole range of icons that we can select from. The label is a capital A icon. So I'm going to select it and then drop it on the area where I want to insert my label or my text field. I've got a label number and if I click on it, the label appears in the top left hand corner. At this point, I can insert my text information. So it's going to be a heading. So I'm going to say email address. And those details now up in the layout in the area we have selected. I can, for example, make the heading bold. I can change the font, change the font size, and also make it a different color if required. I'm now going to add a second label, which is going to be the website address. Click on the label icon, and there we go specify my details there and I'm going to insert a heading and just change the color and there we have it and what we have here is on the canvas we've got the header section of the document the line section, and we then have the footer. So you may, for example, want to add some additional details on the footer, and I can do that by adding a label, Make the label, and I'm now going to add some details. Right, so I've added some details onto the header section as labels and some additional details on the footer section. 
Our next option we're going to be adding is called a DB text field, which is a database text field. And really, a DB text field is information that we can obtain from the database and add that onto the layout. And the icon to use is the capital A with the frame in the background, DB text. And I'm going to click on it and I'm going to drop it next to the email address. I've now got a DB text number. And if I like notice in the top left hand corner, we have a drop down there with certain areas from which we can obtain database information. And as we saw earlier, the email address and website address were found under common maintenance company details. So I'm going to use company details. And we then have a second drop down which will list us details of all the fields that we can select from the company details option. And I'm looking for email, there we have it. Select email, and I'm just going to expand the field slightly. Right, there we go. And I'm then going to add another DB text field to insert the website information. So I've got my DB text number and select the company detail section and I'm looking for website address. There we go and expand the field slightly so you've got all the details appearing there. Right, there we have it. So I've got all my information there and I've added those details by using a label for the headings and then a DB text field to insert those details. The next option is an image. So for example, you may want to add a company logo or an image onto your invoice layout and we can do that by adding an image. So the image icon is over there and I'm just going to drop it on the area where I want to insert the image. So I've got the details there and I'm going to insert it right there. Now I'm just going to, I would now need to go browse for the image. So I'm going to right click on the image and select picture. And I would then need to go browse the image, select my image and open. And there we have it. So you could really insert the company logo, place it on a certain location or a certain area with an English layout and there we have it. And so we've added the labels, the DB text field in the image. And you'll notice is that on the top of a couple of tabs, we're currently on the design tab. I'm now going to click the preview tab. Under preview, I've got my details. I'm just going to make the image slightly bigger. And there we have it. So I've got my details there and all the information we've added on the customization field, together with our head or our footer section at the, at the bottom of the document layout. And so as you, for example, customize or making changes, you can move on to the preview field or tab and see exactly how the customization is looking while the process is unfolding. Right, back to design, and I'm now going to file and save the customizations that I've made, and file and close. I've now got my new customized layout displaying, and very importantly, I need to select that layout from the list so that when processing and printing a document, the system knows which layout to make use of when printing or previewing the transaction. Right, so the customization has now been completed and I'm going to process a new invoice. Right. And just add some details there. 
process and the invoice. And there we have it. We've got our invoice together with our image of our logo we've added, together with the email address, website address, and then also our footer section which we've added on the foot of the document. And there we have it. Close and complete the transaction. So as you can see, quite an easy way for you to customize your layout by adding a label, a DB text and image. And if you need to make further changes, so we go to print, print options, print options invoice, layout options, select the layout, and then specify design layout back on the canvas and you can make some additional changes if required. Once completed, file, save, file, close, and always ensure that you specified the layout to be used when printing or previewing the transaction. I do hope you've enjoyed the presentation today. Thank you for tuning in. It's over and out for me and goodbye.